Today's video, I am going to show you two things. First, if it is possible to connect a wireless microphone to an F998 sound card. Second, is how to connect your Samsung S24 Ultra to this F998 sound card. Without further ado, let's get started. Now let me show you the things cables I will be needing in a setup. First of all, this is the F998 uh, sound card and this is the wireless uh, microphone that I have. So if you look over here, this is uh, what I have, wireless microphone. Normally when you get this, uh, it comes with this one with a USB, it's like a, uh, an adapter almost. And it does come also with this one here and it comes with this, so it's like a mono 3.5 millimeter. And so this uh, comes when you buy or when you get a wireless microphone. And now this uh, device here, this is just uh, an optional. This is uh, the source of my background music. This phone here, this is the uh, Samsung S24 Ultra. And this one here, this is just uh, optional also. You can either connect this one to a power source other than uh, a portable charger. Uh, let me show you later where or when am I going to connect it. This one here, this is also an extra. Uh, this is uh, just... Uh, an earphone for me to monitor the audio and this is TRRS uh, because what I will do is I'll be doing uh, some recordings to this uh, Samsung 24 Ultra and for that I will need this adapter so this is USB-C to 3.5 uh, female and by the way I get this from the Apple Store heads up for you if you do not have the right uh, jungle or this adapter over here whatever you do on here even if you copied everything it will not work so make sure you have the right uh, adapter unfortunately up to now i do not know yet really what other brand works uh, for this uh, kind of adapter now let's uh, start the connection first let's use this portable charger so what we will do is connect this one over there and on here you should see that like a 3.5 millimeter port so what you will do is you will need this one here and by the way this one you don't really need because the port the mic port of this F998 sound card is 3.5 millimeter and that's why we will need this one so again we will not need that other one there okay so very self-explanatory so from here we will connect this one into here as you know there is only one mic port here condenser mic so this one here okay and the other end we will connect to this uh, to this uh, usb that we connected so the one from there okay there you go and of course make sure your power bank if you're using a power bank is uh, turned on and by the way this uh, kind of uh, a wireless microphone normally you have to insert battery so this one it has a battery already on there and this one should be ready now uh, from here to connect this device very self-explanatory we will connect this adapter to here and now we will use TRRS please remember if you are doing recording or streaming you have to use the one that has three lines TRRS if you use the TRS something like this the one with two lines it will not work for recording so make sure you use the TRRS and from here we will connect one end to there and then we will connect so just select one from here connect from let's say the first one right there and now let's connect the earphone to monitor the audio and the earphone by the way that I'm using does not have a built-in microphone you can tell because it has two lines only over there okay so we will connect it to here to the one for earphone so let's connect it here to the one for earphone here you go okay let's make sure everything are properly plugged in and now that I am all set, I'm going to start recording now from this uh, Samsung S20 Ultra so you can hear the actual recorded output from this uh, device. Okay, uh, so from here, I'm going to start recording. Okay, there you go. Okay, the soundtrack testing, one, two, one, two, three, four. So from here, as you notice, it does work. So again, whatever you are hearing right now, this is now the recorded audio from this device the samsung s24 ultra so as you notice 
it does work. Yes, you can connect a wireless microphone to this F998 sound card. As I mentioned, this adapter, if you're not using the right one, it might still record, but the audio quality or the audio output is not as stable as this one. And now there is no effects. That is because the echo here is at zero. Even if you select pop or okay, and, and MC and recording studio. So you need to turn this up for your vocals to have effects. Okay, sound check. Testing one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, sound check. Testing one, two, and pretty much whatever features on here you are able to use. Let's say the sound effects on here. So sound effects. I am just going to increase the effects from here, maybe at 9 o'clock only. Okay, let's try cheer. There we go. And then laughter. And then giggle. And then you can increase the sound effects volume from here. And then when it says special effects. And if you want, let's say to, to uh, by the way, I'm using the recording studio right now. Let's say pop. Okay, soundtrack testing one, two. This is the pop or karaoke. Okay, so this is now the karaoke sound check. Or maybe the voice changer if you are curious if it works. Okay, soundtrack testing one, two, one, two, three, four. So are you. Soundtrack testing one, two, one, two, three, four. There you go. So as you notice, it does work. And by the way, for the primal sound here, let's say uh, you are using effects and you don't want to use that. Just simply tap this uh, primal sound. Sound check. Testing one, two, one, two, three, four. And pretty much all the, all the features on here you are able to use using this wireless microphone. And by the way, if you want to know all the features of this F998 sound card, I'd made a video on that already and I will be adding a link under the description below. Okay, uh, maybe let's try this background music over there. Let's uh, check how loud it is. By the way, I connected this one using Bluetooth and that's why I did not connect. I did not use a cable to connect that to here. So what you do is just go to the settings of this device, go to Bluetooth, turn it on, and you should see F998 and connect them. And once they're connected, when you play a karaoke song from here, let's say from YouTube karaoke song, it should be connected to here wirelessly. Okay, now let's try how loud is this. Okay, now you can increase the volume from here like that. Or you can also increase the volume from here, the one for a company. Okay, you can lower it like that, or you can turn it up. There you go. Okay, so maybe let's... Uh, okay, let's see. okay, let me give you a short uh, sample from here. And since I will be singing, maybe I will use uh, pop. Okay, soundtrack testing one, two. Maybe I'm gonna set my echo to about, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, try one o'clock or maybe two o'clock. There you go. Cause forever I will pray, you and I will be as free as the birds of the this one okay there you go so as you notice it does work and there you go now you know that it is possible to connect a wireless a microphone in this kind of setup and plus your samsung s24 ultra is possible to be connected to your f998 sound card where i got this wireless microphone and the other information about it i got it from the apple store and i will be adding a link under the description below uh, for now this is uh, for now this is what it looks like VHF universal wireless microphone it's a plug-and-play type of microphone the range is up to 50 meters and yes it's a plug-and-play type of uh, microphone and these are pretty much what you get if you get to this kind of wireless microphone and there you go that is all i can share for today thanks again guys for watching if you like this type of video please give it a like and if you want more of this type of videos consider subscribing if you haven't done yet and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos i will be posting 
keep safe and until next time.